see what's going on with my son, Mr. Beast. Is Mr. Beast a disgusting, exploitive monster, or is he a hero? Both of those arguments have been flying around the internet for over a day now. And that's because over the weekend, he uploaded a video titled... 1,000 blind people see for the first time. We see him work with a surgeon to perform an operation on blind and partially blind people that would allow them to get their vision back. They can't see, but we have all the technology to fix it. Yep, half of all the blindness in the world is people who need a 10 minute surgery. Right, but the thing is, a lot of these people just don't have access to it or the money for it, even though it's life changing. With a number of people sharing their stories to Mr. Beast and his team, you know, one person in the video saying blindness stopped them from working, another saying he's never been able to drive a car, but this procedure changed all that. And of course, because it's Mr. Beast, he didn't just stop at the surgeries he gave one guy a Tesla, others got money. What does this say? You just won $10,000. Here you go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We also see him take this international with people from other countries also getting help, and in total changing at least a thousand lives. And largely the response to this video has been very, very positive. People saying it's heartwarming, it's amazing, but also others saying things like, are we going to start celebrating people with resources giving back to people for entertainment only? He gave these surgeries to people who agreed to be in a YouTube video for him to monetize. How That's is that true. charity? And he just makes people dance on camera for basic human needs so we can make millions as well as some that were yeah let me nip this shit in the blood right now i think personally me myself and all right y'all niggas is probably may or may not even see this video or it may come out later i feel very strongly that a lot of the people that be on the internet that's negative that be like negative for shit for shit like this i if, if there are scenarios and cases where some people uh, are are put on camera and like without without their consent and it's almost like nigga yeah do this do that I ain't gonna lie I'm gonna have to answer that later but like on some do this do that type shit for this amount of money and shit like that and it happens but I feel like when I see certain comments like this when it's actually somebody who just genuinely just wants to help people and I'm pretty I'm 95% sure this nigga got consent from every single person that was in the video and he has helped other people outside of the video. I just feel as though that um, these are like bots. Like the people that say certain shit like this, like that throat that want to push a narrative. These are like bots, bro. And niggas, I get why people could be like, nah, that's probably a real person. But like, look at look at the name of the account, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's just it's it's in a way to throw off the narrative or, or insert this kind of narrative like, yeah, you're not a good person. Yo, bro, he helped a thousand people cure a 10 minute. First of all, y'all looking at him like he's a bad person. What about the corporations in the medical field who actually have the means to treat these people, but because they don't have the resources, the, like the people actually not having the money to pay for this. Why are we not talking about them? You get what I'm saying? Like, we're on him who's actually caring people, and I'm pretty sure putting the money that he makes off the videos back into helping more people. Well, let's say, let's say for example, if he's not doing it like that, right? Let's say if he's let's say if he's being an actual bad person and just doing it for for, for monetary gain. His monetary gain is making the money and then putting people on video and curing diseases. Or or just help like you, you get me? Like, if that if he's so bad and he's doing, and that's what he's doing with, and with his money and he's he's this bad person, like, let, I think we should we should keep letting him be bad or, or keep letting him, you know what I'm saying? But pff, whatever, bro. Uh, let's see what they say now. We're split saying he makes a good impact, but he does it in a borderline or maybe not borderline unethical way that benefits himself more than anyone he could ever help. Giving wow. should be a selfless act. Well, here was some of the online discourse, courtesy of Distractify, to give you a little bit of flavor of what people were saying. Quote, if Mr. Beast truly wanted to do something good and truly cares about disabled people, he would not monetize their suffering and make them tap. But his, mo this, is the, this is the weird part, bro. If he didn't monetize on the videos that he's made in the past, he wouldn't even be the Mr. Beast that we know to, in order to pay and do half of the shit he's doing. So if he's monetizing and showing, first of all, he's informing us that half of the people in the world that are blind, it just takes a 10 minute surgery and you're you're cured. That's one. First and foremost, I didn't even know that. I thought if you were blind, like that was just it. Like it was it was wrapped for you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if we being honest, but he just informed us that, yo, most of these, most of these people that are blind can get a little 10 minutes operation and they're good. The, me the, the media hasn't told us that the, the, the doctors haven't, haven't like made a statement about like, you know what I'm saying? Like it took a YouTuber 
who is probably the the most or the, the most popular YouTuber in the world to to make this video for us to even be having this conversation. And that's the sick part. These corporations are not doing shit like this. These million dollar, billion dollar corporations are not. But because he's one man, and there's a video on it, and he's informing people. Like, it's, it's just some boys. dance on video just so he can slap it up on YouTube. I'm tired of having to perform gratitude for wealthy people just to stay alive. Others went even further. This person tweeted, there is something so demonic about this, and I can't even articulate what it is, and they've got wow. screenshots from the video. Sticking with the satanic theme here, this individual really went all in tweeting, he is literally the Antichrist. There's always some sick people. Okay, but okay. We, we won't okay. talk about this. So what do you think about people being mad about this? Okay. I'm going to start from the beginning. I don't like when people film people giving to homeless people. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. It don't matter. It's not going to show the camera. Whatever. <laughs> so you walk in the world and you always look sharp. Go ahead. I support you. Go ahead. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm support. There's nothing to do with the camera. This is for you. Pause. It's, it's fine. Right, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Stop getting like a schoolgirl because I said something nice. The, you know, yeah. That's fine. And I'm not going to find it. It's so f***ed up to have a beard. Wait, like this that is a selfless act I just did for you on camera, which we're going to monetize. You're a f***ing demon. I'm the Antichrist. Mm -hmm. He didn't even see that coming. By the retro I would not have done that kind of thing <laughs> on camera. You are a demon. Hey, hey, yeah. I I'll say this. People get mad because they film the stories. Take the macro aspect out of it. This is your sibling, your mm -hmm. sister, your brother, your father, doesn't matter. They've not been able to see for most of their life. Exactly. I told them, hey mom, I spent eight years no, on this degree, but I hate it, Come on, and I really want to change jobs. Cool, man, I'm sorry, I know. Shit out of here. And they can't afford to fix it, and you can't afford to pay for it. And Mr. Beast comes by, and he says, listen, I think I can help. I can give your father his eyesight so he can look hmm. at you again. And he gives you an option. He says, we can tell your story or we cannot. Because understand, there's a thousand people that they've helped. They didn't film all those stories. Exactly. There's plenty of people they helped that never went online. Mm -hmm. And they gave people options. Exactly. Would you like to tell this story? And you say, I'd love to. If, if this helps you make more so you can help more people, I would love to. Mm -hmm. exactly. If this means that you raise awareness for the fact that most people are blind, not due to some genetic issue that can't be cured, but because of easily curable 10 minute procedures exactly, that we can't afford bro. i would love to and, and this is what sudden, it's about your father can now see again they're they're bawling their eyes out because they're making eye contact and they really feel like they're being seen for the first time that's what he's giving these people exactly bro. and rather than having this kind of outrage for the systems that create these inequalities you direct it at the individual who is easier greatly improving their lives and allowing families to be able to you know and back to the i, don't, I made a video about the balenciaga shit. Back to the reason why Balenciaga did not really catch that much flack is because Balenciaga is a large corporation. So people have a problem with large corporations, but when it's individual, is you you can place like your blame on large corporations, but there's no faith, there's no in those, there's no single, there's nobody you can single out to connect to that corporation, like because it's it's its own, it's it's almost like its own being. But when you see a person like Mr. Beast, who is yes, who's the CEO, and he has his own business and all that shit. But he's a face of something. It's easier to point blame at him. Like, yo, look, look at this guy with all this money, and he's flaunting in, and he's putting all these people on camera just to just to monitor. It's easier to do that shit. But like, let let a, another corporation have done that, something like that. The response wouldn't have been the same because they don't have anybody to place the blame on. They can place the blame on Balenciaga, but Balenciaga is not like a sole person. It's a whole bunch of different people making one organism. Mr. Beast is one person making all these other things happen. So it's easy to be like, yeah, that guy is, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Look at each other. It's weird. There's not a day that I'm ever going to look at somebody doing something this positive and try to figure out their motives. I don't even care. Yeah, Let's exactly. say I'm the most uncharitable person. And I think Mr. Beast is a selfish piece of shit human being who's only doing this for the clicks. Okay. I don't give a fuck. That's how we There is a thousand shit. people now exactly. that can see that couldn't see yesterday. That's... And if he takes that money and wants to be more egotistical to Bye. save another thousand, I will celebrate that too. I don't give a fuck what's in his heart or what his intentions are. Exactly. People that couldn't see can now see. That's, that's a, bro. the way to be egotistical. Do you understand? That's a crazy way to be egotistical. Close your fucking eyes. Now that's your rest of your life. Someone can change that. I will never sit here and get mad at him for that.
That, that's because that's... we spend too much time in our society <laughs> celebrating niggas with guns shooting each other, yeah. celebrating people who are getting violent in the ring or doing other kinds of crazy Yo. stuff. Someone's giving people their eyesight back, Bring it. and you want to call them demons. Tell them. Then, bitch, I want to be in hell. Especially now, it's kind of cold outside. I'm just keeping this stack with y'all. This is the kind of stuff that I see people doing online that I'm like, this is goofy virtue signaling to me. Yo, you think you, about the outcomes. That's just I, I want you guys to think more but about But you that. said something very interesting. That's how we choose to be selfish. Yeah. Like if we wants to think about what you're saying, guys. His way of being selfish. Like he loved he loves click so much that he's going to be selfish and help a thousand people. That ass, bro. <sighs> I just I just don't get how this is being sp- and I and I this is, I, I feel like they're doing this for a specific reason. The, the the they want the the hate and like the mutiny to happen so like people don't realize the real message here, bro. It took one YouTuber, one YouTuber, to do this, and he's not the richest person in the world. He just cured a thousand people's blindness, and made a video and not only educated, changed lives. And it's continuously doing other things like this. It took one YouTuber to do that, bro. One. There's I don't see a billionaire doing that. Any millionaires, any like you get what I'm saying? Like it's so fucking crazy, bro. That's so crazy, bro. I think the word selfish has such a negative connotation. Because I think the way that people employ it is like there's an extreme interest in oneself. I think most actions, if you take it at the literal definition, have some self-interest involved. Exactly. Like, when you do something good for other people, you partially do it because it feels good, because you're rewarded, because you're strengthening bond, because you're helping others. Yeah, Talk you're doing it. it for them. But there's also a part a of you part that's of rewarded for that. Exactly. That's not even a bad thing. It's not. This is literally our biology, all right, and our social skills being programmed into us to encourage us and incentivize us to do good things. The same thing with our families and helping them. Like, it does give us a rewarding feeling. Exactly. And it's okay. You don't have to feel guilty about that. It's not a bad thing. No. This is our social engineering over hundreds of decades encouraging us to create communities. Bro, listen, man. I think that niggas is just... I don't know. I think people just be wanting to be mad about anything. Like, this nigga just click, click, cured, helped cure a thousand people's blindness, bro. Like he said, people that couldn't see yesterday can see today, bro. Like, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. We got to we gotta do better as a people, man. We should salute this, man. We should get more people to be like this. We, selfless acts. You know what I'm saying? He's a one He's one person. He's not a corporation or anything like that. He's not in the, med- the, the, the medical field, and he, he did this. Man, we need to tilt our hats, man. Shout out to Mr. Beast, man. Hopefully, one day I could become... Uh, a, a big ass YouTuber slash streamer, and one day I can make a a, a big a big enough impact or wave so, like something like this and spark, you know what I'm saying? Spark the next person to do the same thing. Cause that's what I looked at it like. Yo, this YouTuber was able to cure a thousand, help cure a thousand people's blindness, bro. A YouTuber, that's fucking fire, bro. Mad love and respect to this man. I don't know what else he got going on, but uh. I'm a, I'm a look I'm a look around I'm gonna see what's going on man shout out to Abba and Preach man for making this video too uh let me know how y'all feel about this shit man I'm a little late but let me know how y'all feel about this